How much would it cost you to replicate the secret life of Walter Mitty? On April 7th, 2024, you are a New York resident who just finished the secret life of Walter Mitty for the first time and are now filled with a great sense of wonderlust. You immediately realize there's no time like the present. So you take the next one-way flight to Nuke International Airport, Greenland, which will cost you around $1,650 and 42 hours of traveling. No, that can't be right. I mean, Walter Mitty made it look so much more easy. <laughs> okay, because you're a logical adult and you want to make it somewhat realistic to what Walter Mitty did, you book a flight for April 10th for $1,152 and one two-hour layover. Can't get that non-stop, but you know, it's good enough. Now, before this trip, hopefully you already had your passport taken care of, unlike our lovable protagonist. But if not, this is what you do for this extreme situation. If you need a passport for an international journey that's less than five days away, it's essential to book an appointment with a local passport agency. There's one conveniently located right here in New York for us, so that's, that's nice. Remember to bring proof of your upcoming travel to this appointment. However, securing an appointment can be challenging since they are in pretty high demand so nothing's a guarantee still the good news is make an appointment with the agency will cost you no money if they ask for money or if there's any sign of having to pay it's a scam don't do it but this also implies that you can't just walk in without an appointment prior so getting the appointment is very very important in this rare situation for the appointment make sure you have a filled out passport application a new passport photo a valid id like a driver's license and the passport processing fee ready additionally you'll have to provide specific documents required for an expedited passport renewal including a travel itinerary and any documents needed for urgent travel situation if you find it impossible to secure the appointment with the passport agency and you're all out of other options, reaching out to the office of your US representative could be a worthwhile step. They sometimes can assist you in fast tracking your passport application, but consider this as like a last ditch effort. Also, how much money should it cost? Well, I think it's a case by case scenario. This person on Reddit said that it costs them around $200. So I think that's a good baseline to go off of. Overall, if you're trying to get your passport in 24 hours, I know it might not be easy, but can it be done? Maybe. On April 11th, you finally land in Nuke International airport which is also their capital a little fun fact the more you know now you just got to get around you make your way to the local nuke rental and pick up a nice 80 dollars shizuki swift for the day red just as walter likes them from there you drive to a local bar now as i mentioned in my previous video which you should watch almost all the international scenes so greenland and afghanistan were filmed entirely in iceland so the bar that was seen in the movie that was actually just a shop turned into a bar for the movie is actually located in stickish ulmer iceland but you still got to eat and drink so daddy seems like a good alternative <laughs> you spend about five dollars on red ale and 25 dollars on a nice fish burger assuming you don't want to starve on just dried up bar snacks now from here you could technically do what walter mitty did if you got the charisma and good luck for it you could get a free helicopter ride from a drunk man going to a boat that will take you to iceland you know people have done less crazy things and all this would technically be for free i imagine however this is your first trip and this isn't a movie so let's be realistic here but don't worry i still found a good alternative to see nuke from up above just like our hero to spend the rest of your day here in nuke you get a 20 minute helicopter ride for 217 dollars by our close friend air greenland when you touch down back on earth and if you're like me probably get motion sickness and peek your guts up everywhere <laughs> you go and return the car early because you got an international flight to catch to Iceland, if that wasn't obvious. Now that port that he landed at in the movie is located in a town called Rundafjordor, <laughs> but this doesn't have an airport, so Kef, which is located a measly 68 miles away, will have to do for now. As you ask for your next ticket to Iceland, you are receiving some terrible news. The next flight out won't be until April 14th, but Walter Mitty wasted no time, you said, to plead your case, but that would do you no good. You spend the $541 and weigh out your options. You grab the cheapest hostel you can find in Nuke for the next three days. That will set you back about $175. You also got to eat, so you spend about $52 on cooking ingredients, considering this hostel does have a kitchen, and you make no attempts to do anything else these next couple of days because you're here for Walter Mitty and Walter Mitty only. But alas, you wake up with hopes in your eyes. The day has finally come. You make your way to the airport and take the next flight to Reykjavik, Iceland. Okay, at this point, it should be somewhat obvious that it's almost impossible to replicate fully the Walter Mitty experience without some pre-planning. Even then, it's <laughs> it seems to be really hard. So I think it's best for this next part to just focus on hitting all the amazing locations seen in the movie. But uh, as you can see, it's pretty spread out. The first thing you can easily take care of is heading to Grundar, aka the boat spot that he gets the bike, to start a journey most closely related to the film. To get there, that's going to cost you a minimum of $94, also six hours, by using a combination of both buses and taxis. 
taxi. Oh, and make sure to bring your $32 per day bike rental because you don't have any free bike to steal away from some horny semen. Okay, so you make it to your starting location, look around a little bit, start riding the bike, get your legs ready for the journey ahead because let me tell you, it is a long way to go. Usually 15 kilometers an hour is pretty good for cross-country cycling, but the catch is, is you have to travel 620 kilometers to make it to Ayilstatid. I kind of I kind of researched like how to say these beforehand. I know they're not great, but you know, I'm, I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying real hard. This town being important because it's the beginning of Road 93, which is the famous spot scene in the movie where he's riding down the longboard. Now, I'm no mathematician here, but that's going to equal you about 41 hours of cycling. And assuming you got to sleep for at least five hours, eat poop we can probably safely say it'll take you three days to do this if you're just non-stop biking are you up for that tough guy because ben stiller sure is i mean just look at him here in tropic thunder no not that one ah that one what a man what a man now you may be able to find some helpful people along your journey that might give you free food free accommodation maybe i mean it is a long trip you know locals are nice in a lot of countries but we bet on no free handouts here in the beautiful us of a and i reflect that in my research free healthcare in college would be pretty sick though maybe <laughs> for iceland the average price of a hotel is like 150 dollars but that seems a little high and i can't imagine we're not we're not like trying to spend money on like nice hotels and stuff i mean we got we got places to be there do appear to be a couple budget hotels and more of the 66 dollar range which corresponds with some of the airbnbs i also see around these are shared rooms but still so i feel like this is a good number to base our calculations on then looking at the budget prices for meals because you got to fuel yourself when biking 620 kilometers we are looking at like 15 dollars per day because i mean you're not going to be cooking so doing a little bit of math here after three days that is 190 dollars in accommodation and 45 dollars for meals this then totals 243 dollars but then you see it road 93 to say this further you are so excited you ditch the bike for now and start running like gum and with all these stores in the local town there has to be a longboard somewhere especially since you probably don't have a stretch armstrong toy to trade with some sucker kid but with everything you got you start booking it down with your longboard and actually make it to the official google maps walter Mitty viewpoint you keep making it down and soaking it all in your trip the thousands of dollars it was all worth it to replicate this moment as you pull in to say this further you come upon hotel alden which is somewhat seen in the movie and just for laughs you start yelling erection at the locals while playing an alarm sound out of your phone but sadly ultimately there's no one there to give you a free ride back across the country you get yourself some northwest mac and cheese at the local bistro for 15 dollars reminisce about the time you just had but now you got to make it all the way back to borgones now you could ride your bike all the way back for some ungodly Degrees. but since it already costed you $96 to keep this bike you can set up for the $85 12 hour bus ride that'll take you back all the way to your destination let's also throw in like $30 to cover any food that you might have any little snacky snacks and once you step off that bus you start to realize you need to be going home but then your stomach starts to growl and there's only one thing that could satisfy your hunger pizza as I stated in my previous video there's no Papa John's and Borganis it was a it was like a shop converted into a papa john but there is la colina pizzeria so you grab a 17 dollar margarita pizza from them and a three dollar soft drink to feel like you're inside walter mitty's shoes just wiggling your toes in there okay it's getting dark it's time to sleep accommodation in this town is pretty spotty let's just play it safe and go with airbnb for 167 dollars which is the cheapest you can get a room in this town it is now april 19th probably that's <laughs> like probably and you're ready to go home you return your very expensive bike and considering that was an additional two days let's add it to the total but in that moment it almost appears walter Mitty is looking down on us because this will be our cheapest flight so far at 391 dollars six hours flight non-stop all the way back to jfk wow what a trip but how much did it cost i know you were all wondering it you stick little bass um i wasn't really keeping track like i did in the last video kind of built the suspense of it for both you and me because i haven't actually been calculating it until this moment so here's a little live reaction um the grand total is drum roll please <laughs> three thousand seven hundred and sixty nine dollars now uh to be totally honest um this is a little bit later <laughs> uh and pretty much at the end of me editing this video I got my calculation like embarrassingly far off just to an incredible amount and I don't know how I didn't like I even told my girlfriend the amount like before I started editing and I never questioned I never questioned how large the number was uh 
So I'm filming this now, um, $3,769 or $68.99 for the <laughs> passport photos. I look back at my last video, I think Walter Mitty by, by the end of Greenland spent like 4,000. So he honestly wasn't that far off despite him. I mean, with him, it, a lot of stuff was free. He had bigger expenses when it came to like the flight to Greenland, but, but it was same day and he had like nonstop. It was all movie magic and everything, but, but it is funny to see like the, the difference wasn't that extreme. I mean, just two, a little over $200, maybe $300. Now his was also for three days and mine was um, nine as we started on the 10th and went until the 19th. <laughs> If I remember what I just edited. So his <laughs> per per day, his was definitely a lot more expensive. Um, I still don't know if 3000 or almost $4,000 is worth nine days of going to Greenland and Iceland. Um, just like the movie, I'd probably just go straight to Iceland, explore there. Probably a, a lot cheaper. Uh, as you see at the end, there's a nonstop flight there. So And to Greenland, you had to stop in Iceland to get there. That That's what the two-hour layover was. But yeah, that's, uh, that's the amount. Um, I probably messed something up, clearly. So if I didn't catch anything even after this, please, uh, please let me know. Um, watch my previous video. If you want more information about what I've been talking about, a little more context about what Walter Mitty did. And, uh, and yeah, uh, that's all I got for you. Peace. I am happy and mentally sane. I pinky promise. Like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching. <laughs> that's, the, that's the outro.